Good morning, Takeru. Good morning. The train was so crowded today, I thought I was gonna be crushed. That's too bad. I ride my bicycle to school, so I'm comfortable every day. I envy you, but if I commuted by bicycle, my legs might get all big and muscular. Your legs won't get big that easily. I'm Takeru Kaka, a senior in high school. That lovely girl is Mio Kanzaki, the most popular girl in school. The only reason I can be so friendly with her is... We both liked games. Hey, I got an unusual item today. It looks like a big chainsaw. What a dangerous item. But chainsaw is hot right now. I felt very close to her because her hobby was also playing games. My social life changed a lot and became very fun when I started socializing with her. Good morning, Mio. You're looking like an angel today. Hey, I, I know this is a bit sudden, but do you like anyone? What? That's very abrupt. Well, I do, I guess. Huh? Huh? It's a secret, but... I don't need to know who she likes, but I'm kinda curious. Mio was very popular at school. She was a good communicator and spoke happily with a lot of people. I felt jealous every time I saw her talking to someone else. The next day. <sighs> Mio, you're usually always smiling, but you seem to be in low spirits today. Are you not feeling well? No, it's not like that. What's wrong? Actually, my house burned down. Whoa! That's a big deal! I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I don't have a place to live. It must have been such a shock to her to lose her home. I wanted to do something about it, and I thought it was a good chance to show her my manly spirit. Oh, um, would you like to live in my house? I have an extra room. Yeah, are you sure? I'd love to live with you. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. Okay, now I can get closer to her. Thank you, Takeru. Yay, now I have more time to talk to Takeru. We can live together, and I can show him all the good things about me. Our life together started soon thereafter. Wow, it's pretty tidy. I'm surprisingly meticulous. Let me show you to your room. I prepared the largest room for her. What a soft and fluffy bed. I slept in my dad's car last night, so I'm very grateful to you. I'll regain all my strength if I sleep on this bed. <laughs> That's good to hear. It was so attractive to see innocent Mio feeling excited like a little kid. Are you sure you don't mind me staying in this huge room? Oh, of course not. Oh, how adorable! We're living together! If the boys at school knew about this, they'd envy me and beat me up. Okay, I have to thank you. I'll make you my special recipe, hamburg steak. I'm itching to make it. What? You're gonna make it for me? Yeah, I already got all the ingredients. It was a dream come true to have the most popular girl in school cook a meal for me. An hour later, I was eating the hamburger steak she made for me. Whoa, it's delicious. It's gonna make me feel so much better. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. It's the least I could do to make you some delicious food. Thanks, but we can share the housework so it won't be too much of a burden. Let's do our best. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, I wonder if this is what it'd be like to be married to Mio. I can't help but have these fantasies. What could the future hold for us if I'm so uptight on the first day of living together? Anyway, time to go take a bath. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I forgot we were living together. Oh my gosh. Things like this must be common when two people from the opposite sex live together. It must be annoying for Mio, but it made me happy to remember again that we were living together. The next morning. Good morning, Takeru. Or should I say, Peeping Tom? Oh, sorry about last night. Please try and forget about it. Neither of us is used to sharing a house, are we? 
Some things like this are bound to happen. That, that's right. It was just an accident. You got kind of worked up. You didn't do it on purpose, did you? I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. If it wasn't for my terrible mistake, I'd have felt closer to her than ever before. I'm a simple guy, and my feelings for her were getting stronger and stronger. Hey, tomorrow's Saturday. Why don't we go to the beach? I want to restock my fish supply. You're so primitive. Why don't you just buy some? I'm trying to save money. You said you're good at fishing, didn't you? Fishing is a great way to get food and do something leisurely at the same time. Since we live together, we can go to a few different spots together. What? You want to go with me? Sure. I've never fished before. I need you to teach me how. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to have to catch a lot of fish tomorrow. The next day. Wow! It's beautiful! It's the most beautiful ocean I've ever seen! I'm sure the reason I felt that way was because I was standing next to Mio, whom I had feelings for. I'd seen that ocean many times with my family since I was a kid. But I learned for the first time that it looks different depending on who you see it with. Please teach me, handsome teacher. Leave it to me! We fished together for about an hour. We didn't catch as many fish as we thought we would, though. Oh, we didn't catch as much as usual. I've never been to the beach with a girl before. I wanted to show you something cool. These things happen. Let's get all our stuff together and we can head off. Where are we going? Isn't it obvious? There! Huh? To the ocean? That's correct. Come on, let's go. Oh! That was my first time at the beach with a girl I had feelings for. As I looked at her, I hoped that our time together would last forever. It had been a week since we moved in together. Every day was very exciting, so the time seemed to pass quickly. My house will be ready to move back into soon. That's great! Yeah, great. Is our life together almost over? You don't seem so excited about moving back into your house. That's not true. Our new house will have a garden where we can grow our own vegetables. I'm looking forward to it. I should have been happy that she was finally going to be able to go back home. But I felt sad. The day came when Mio's house was finally completed. Mm, I'm in trouble. What's wrong? Your house is being completed today, right? Actually, the completion has been postponed. What you mean? Well... Wow, what a big house! It looks so nice! Mm, new house, new house... Uh <gasps> Collapsed?! So, you mean the house was defective?! Yeah, so... Do you mind if I live here a little longer? It's totally fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Things like this happen. Thank goodness. You seem quite excited, Takeru. No, I'm just trying to cheer you up in my own way. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but the joy must be showing on my face. On the one hand, I want her house to be completed soon so that she can carry on living in peace. But I also don't want to end our cohabitation. The feeling of not wanting to end our life together is the stronger feeling. Oh, okay. Are you happy to spend more time with me? Oh, I... that's... she's very correct. You seem to be excited too, Mio, even though your house turned out to be defective. I... I don't know if that's so. You encouraged me and cheered me up, which got me excited. I'm not depressed about having to rebuild our house again, because I'm consciously trying to lift my spirits. You shouldn't have to try so hard. Your family must be rich to be building a new house again. We've got some money saved up. Anyway, are you sure it's okay if I live with you for a while longer? Of course. I didn't want to let the closeness we'd built up slip away if we didn't live together anymore. I felt like we were going to grow apart again. How much time did we still have left to live together? I was always thinking about how our situation would end. Phew. 
I'm sorry, Takeru, but I'm glad my house turned out to be defective. I only have about a week left to live with you, though. I'm sure our next house will be built without any trouble. Maybe I can get them to stop building the new house, then I can stay at Takeru's house forever. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> I wish I could stay here a little longer. The next day, I decided to go shopping with Takeru. Hey, which one looks better on me? It's hard to tell. They look so similar. Ooh. Oh gosh, are you saying you can't tell the difference? I'm saying they both look great. Oh really? Then why didn't you just tell me that I look good in both? Hey, is there someone you like, Mio? Hm? Uh, sorry for the abruptness. It's just something I was wondering. There's someone? Oh, yeah? Someone from our school? Like, in the same grade as us? Yes, he's in our high school and our grade. You're probing me like an interview. Are you that curious? No, I didn't mean to. You don't have to be so inquisitive. I'm sure you'll figure out who it is someday. What you mean? How much easier would it have been if I just told him that he was the person I love? The person standing right next to me? The truth is, I'm a bit timid and I have a weird sense of pride. I hate myself for that, but I figured I'd tell him my feelings when my house was completed. <sighs> I don't like it. Oh well, I should. That room was gonna feel a lot bigger when Mio left. My thoughts were clear. I made up my mind that our living together was my perfect chance to take a step closer to her. I was gonna tell her when her house was safely completed that I wanted the two of us to share some real time together. Finally, the fateful day came. Takeru, are you free tomorrow after school? Yeah, I'm free, but... Let's go on a date. A date? I have two things to tell you. The first one is about my perfect new house. Good for you! Congratulations! We're celebrating today then, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want to come see the house? It even has a swimming pool. I'd love to see it. What's the other thing you wanted to talk about? I'll tell you about that tomorrow. The next day. Ta-da! This is our new house in Dream City. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. How much did you pay for it? It cost 70,000 coins. How did you save up that much? Since I can do it in the game, I'll probably just keep saving money when I work in the future. That's good. You're a solid person. Thank you so much. I want to give you something in return. I'm going to share my coins with you. Hey, Mio? What's wrong? You look so serious. I, I don't need the coins. Do you want to go to the beach with me again? Sure, I'll refill your fish stocks. Do you want me to collect driftwood too? We can sell what we find for a pretty good price. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about going to see the ocean together in real life. I think the real ocean must be even more beautiful. And I want to share that view with you. I want to spend time with you in the real world too. Takeru, I was thinking the same thing. I want to be with you forever and ever. Let's make what happened in the game a reality. Then, when we're older... When we become adults? We can live together? Whoa! What? Our youth together had just begun.